Okay, we're going to make a, uh, some onion rings. And this is the corn I bought today for our gumbo video. You're going to have to wait. I don't know when I'm going to make it because right now I'm still sick. Still sick at my stomach. I don't know what's wrong with me, but it, I am still sick. So, let me clean this corn and all up. And then I'll make it out of the same batter I made with the uh, corn dog uh, video. The same batter, but I'm going to be frying them. Deep frying them. This is what we got out of the garden today. Every day we've been getting these big old cucumbers like this. This bowl plum full. We got these two onions. We're going to cut them up for the onion rings. One white, one yellow. Okay, tomorrow we don't know if we're going to make a video or not because we're going to redo this whole kitchen tomorrow. We've got to clean it up. And we're going to uh, move everything around. And we're going to move the deep freezes and all. So. And comment down below if you want to see me do the remodel tomorrow online. With you all or not. And if I get over 100, I'll, uh, I'll do it with you all online. All you have to do is say yes if you want me to do it while I'm recording it. If I don't get it done in one video, I might make two. If I get a hundred comments. All you have to do is say yes. I had to use that batter up that I made for the corn dogs, so I'm just going to make onion rings out of it. Well, I didn't waste nothing. This price, these time of days, ain't you can't afford to waste nothing. These ain't going to be perfect. No, they sure ain't. And if some of them's bigger than the other, that's fine too. It ain't going to hurt nothing. It'll all be eight. We ain't fancy around this house. We don't waste nothing here. Like this, see? You can still eat that. That ain't gonna hurt nothing. It might not be a perfect uh, round uh, onion ring, but it still will work. Yeah, and the ones that ain't perfect, you can uh, put them in a baggie and uh, eat them for fresh eating. That's what you can do with them. If you didn't want to fry them, that's what we do when they ain't perfect. Now, sometime this week or next week, we're going to go out in the garden and we're going to uh, pick all the onions and I'm going to take the green, green part of it and I'm going to... Um, Dehydrate them and make uh, onion powder out of them. 
and then put the white part in the freezer to cook with. And then we're going to plant more. Made a ship a shopping trip to Lowe's today for the garden. And the lumber that you see in that video, we're gonna to have to make a fence because we don't the deers are destroying everything we've got in the garden. They've already eaten all the tops off of our uh off our potatoes. They've been out there eating my lilies. In the middle of the night, at 3.40 in the morning, they also uh, been eating my roses. They've been uh, destroying a lot of stuff around here, so they got to go. Then we got a groundhog that comes here now. So we gotta watch for him. Eat our garden. And then we've had buyers come last year and tear up our garden. So the garden trips has got to be dealt with. We've gotta either put a uh, fence around it or just quit gardening, either one. But if we don't guard them, we're going to starve to death. So we got to do that. So the deers has got to go. Yep, they got to go. That's all I know what to do. Or what to say about it, anyway. I ain't got my hunting license or they'd be dead. And be in my freezer. That's where they'd be at. If we wouldn't live near this trailer park, they would be. Ronnie's been set, getting up early in the morning catching them and everything, and uh, they just been destroying everything we got. Can't let them do that. We gotta have that food. Let me wash these off and I'll be right back. Okay, we gotta separate these. And the ones that's uh, not cut right, we're gonna put them in a bag to eat for fresh eating. Yep, the deer's has got to go. When they eat my roses, that was the last end of it. I've had enough. They've got to go. Corn dog uh, recipe is on the corn dog video. The recipe to make the batter for these onion rings. Thanks to all the 599 subscribers. We like one more to be 600. Thank you all for that. Every single one of you. My channel wouldn't be nothing without y'all. Yes, I might be doing the videos, but you all got to be doing the subscribing. In order for me to get that much. I appreciate it, each and every one of you. Now, remember the questions I had the other day, what I would do if I become big? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is buy me a home and a vehicle. So if you guessed that, you guessed right. 
It's about a month ago I put that on there. What would I do if I got big? That's the only thing in my mind that I could see that I would uh, splurge on. The rest up probably be saved. And I don't know how long I can keep my vehicle going. So, if I ever make it big, I have to have a vehicle. My mama said when, uh, when she was alive, if you ain't got a home and you ain't got a car, you ain't got nothing. Because people ain't going to give you rides every time you holler you need to go right this way and that way. My mom did own her own house when she was alive. When she died, I got it. Then I gave it to my sister, Terry. Terry ain't got it no longer. The bank's got it now. I just couldn't handle it no more at my mom's after she died. Thinking about her, my grandma, and my uncle that lived there while they was alive. Nope. I, I couldn't do it no more. So that's why I moved to Virginia. I always said my mom was gone, I was moving somewhere. Okay, let me get my onion bag out from the refrigerator. Put these uh, in there for fresh eating. Salads or anything. Or just cut them up to fry them, either one. Dip them in flour and meal and fry them. All gonna taste good at the end. I've been doing TikTok videos again. Okay, I think the grease is hot enough. Now let's try dipping these. Let's see what we got now. Yep, it's hot enough. Okay, let me find my little things to cook this with. Okay, let's start frying these since we know it's going to work now. Oh. Hold a minute. Okay. This is what it's going to look like. Fry a few at a time. We don't want to overcrowd it.
Okay, let me get these out. Make sure you put salt on them after you get them done. Or onion salt, either one. Okay, let's do some more. How y'all been doing today? Besides burning up, this house still ain't cooled off, y'all. Only time we get any relief is about 11 or 12 o'clock at night. Y'all be praying for Texas. They got a big old uh, hurricane, I think, or a tornado one, too. And tore it up. And all these hurricanes and tornadoes, we need to start praying for our country, too. Now to keep an order uh, warmed up while you do rest of them, just turn your oven on on the lowest setting, 170 or 200, and let them be in there till you get every one of them done, and then they'll all be warm at the same time, and you can all eat at the same time. KFC's got uh, two pieces of chicken, mashed potatoes, and gravy in a biscuit for four ninety nine. Or on Tuesdays you can get eight pieces of chicken for ten dollars.
at KFC. And Wendy's has got uh, biggie bag burgers and fries and a pop for uh, five dollars. McDonald's has got two McChickens for three twenty nine, or uh, two McDoubles for three twenty nine. Burger King's got a $5 meal. If anybody likes to eat out. This is what it looks like. Thanks for watching Tanya's Home Cooking on YouTube. Thank you all. Bye. Share this recipe. Now go to my... uh. Uh, corn dog, uh, and look in the comment section and you'll find the recipe for these. The batter. Thanks for watching. Bye.